So let's go ahead and show you guys how it works and how sturdy it is. We're gonna fill it up with some of my rods. Not only that, the ones that fit into the vertical slots, like this one, they have bull nose cutouts directly down below that the butt of the rod sits in. So that way your rods are more centered and it comes, it actually creates a more vertical display. Another cool feature about this particular rod rack is the fact that it has the option to hold up to six short or long bent butt rods. You can see we have two of them set up right here. Keep in mind that on the website there are smaller racks available and smaller ones that actually hold just bent butts in it if you want that or ones that hold two up to four but this is the biggest one that holds up to six bent butts. The cool thing about it is that there's these wedges that go in the actual rod rack, six of them, they're removable with a screwdriver. Very simple, very easy. You remove the wedge and you're able to put your, your uh, bent butt rod in there. And then if you don't need it, you just keep it in there and you can use it as a regular vertical rod holder. As you guys see, we got rods to talk about we got reels to talk about and I got another reel rack as you guys see the the garage is a lot more organized than the last few tackle Tuesdays you guys have seen and that is because I got a new reel rack took out that old one this one is from myreelrack.com if you guys saw a previous video I had done I have a bent butt rod rack over there also from myreelrack.com very nice guy uh, this guy builds custom rod racks and this one, what I like about this is, check this out. You got a swiveling rod rack. 